you will lose the ability to monetize all videos on your channel on April 1st, 2016, if, along with everybody else, you did not accept the YouTube Partner Program, the YPP. Well, the good news is that's been extended. Every two weeks, we meet with the YouTube staff, and today they told us that YouTube has decided to extend the deadline from April, April 1st. No, it's not an April Fool's joke, as some of you had thought. And if you don't know what the YPP is, click that I up there. That'll take you to the video explaining why you should accept the YPP and what happens if you don't. But the key is you lose the ability to monetize your videos. And almost 30% of you have not accepted the YPP. Almost 30,000 channels. Why not? Here is how to check if you have accepted the YPP and your monetization will remain active. Simply go to your Creator Studio channel monetization page and if you see this blue button, click it. That means you have not accepted the YPP and here you can see what you need to do. Read it, click these three boxes, and then choose whether you want to be notified of updates and then click accept. If on that page you see this with no blue button, that means you've already accepted the YPP and you don't need to accept it again. If you don't see a monetization page in your channel, then don't worry about it. You, it doesn't apply to you. So I hope this helps. And if you do want to learn more about the YPP, Tell us in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer all your questions. And now let's feature some comments and give a deserving channel a spotlight, like we are now doing as a segment on this The George Show. So first, I want to talk about Kratos Orion Plays, his comment, where he said, I wish they would tell how many votes there are for each choice. He is talking about YouTube polls. Don't know what YouTube polls are? Click that I to find out. Now, Kratos, you're actually wrong. You can see how many votes there were for each choice, but it's hidden. In that video where he made the comment, we saw the percentages of how many people relative to each other chose each option in the poll. But if you go to the video itself, and I will hide myself so you can see this. And you look at the detail of the poll, it shows how many people responded. So you can see the total there. Where is this? Well, you go to the cards section of your YouTube video, which has the poll, and you look at the poll results just by clicking on this, and that'll show you how many people voted. Next comment. Kiki on fire 149 was talking about how many dislikes our videos are getting lately. So if you look at the all YouTube poll results, we actually have 109 dislikes and 108 likes. It's basically the same. And Kiki on fire wrote, in my opinion, Freedom is the best network around. He's been with Freedom for two years. Way to go. That's a veteran status and they never let me down or anything. Just wanted to say to all the good people disliking the video that you are all jealous that Freedom is the best network and you are with a network that is not doing the best. Well, I don't know if that's the reason why people are disliking, but I would love to know why are you disliking, if you're one of the dislikers, these videos. And Kiki on Fire also wrote, keep up the good work, George. Thank you. I will do my best and try to. The next comment, deals with uh, the same subject where Ninja14 said, freedom is getting hacked. Look at all the like and dislikes. Okay, just like Kratos replied, I wouldn't really call that a hack because it's not someone breaking into a website or trying to steal passwords, which is the things hackers tend to do. It's just people disliking a video. So looking at the next comment, Haribo, who leaves awesome comments. Haribo, hats off. If I had a hat, I would take it off and hand it to you. Hats off to you for creating amazing comments so consistently. I've seen you commenting now for 
over a month, and every time they're great comments, insightful, just like this one. So if anyone says anything negative about, about you, Haribo, just tell them George is a fan of everything you do in the comments. And in your comment today, was also talking about the like to dislike ratio. And what he is saying is that we are getting something that you call false feedback. And this is where people hate on the video just because they are jealous of something which is obviously our network and they want to try and stop us because we are a huge success. So he's saying the same thing as the first commenter uh, pointed out. But here is the key. He is saying, uh, fight that with love. So smash that like button or just click it. <clears throat> and let's show these people that no matter what, we are always stronger as a family. And that's true. So help us combat the dislikers and click the like button for every video that you enjoy. And so we can always have a positive like to dislike ratio. And I even replied to Haribo uh, by saying, we are creating an emotional reaction in the community. And I'm happy to see the Freedom Family fighting dislikes with love. You should never fight negativity with negativity. You should always fight negativity with positivity. Hug the trolls. They don't know how to react to that. If you uh, have a negative comment and you reply positively by saying, thank you for that constructive criticism. How can I grow? If someone says, you suck, you're ugly, your voice sounds like a teenage girl, I don't know, reply positively, hug the troll, and you'll see that you know, the troll won't know what to do. He'll probably run away. Next comment. This is on a new subject. Chaos X Prophet was suggesting that we do tweet, tweets, Twitter shout outs to help channels grow. And I think that's a great idea. Gamer Dudes actually was more insightful and he wrote a book. <laughs> he did say he agrees with the Twitter thing, but his point was that freedom is not focusing on shouting out smaller channels. I don't think that's true, Gamer Dudes. I do my best to pick out deserving channels because I know the small guys need the most help to grow. That's how we originally found All Games Must Die who is now technically no longer a small channel. He started with 36 subscribers and now probably has 400, would be my guess. Uh, we'll check later in this episode if I'm right. But my point is, we are focusing on the small guys to help them grow faster. And interestingly enough, I have a new name. Some of you called me Papa George. Now, I'm apparently George Sunpie. So thank you for that uh, new title, Gamer Dudes. And he also said that he's with this network because he loves the amount of music he gets access to. Now he's talking about the music you can only get at Freedom, which is position music. Don't know what position music is? Click that eye up there and visit positionmusic.com. Click the shiny Freedom button to sign in with your Freedom account to get access to all that great music that only Freedom Partners can get access to, which is used in movies, TV shows, and video games like Call of Duty. And I hope you appreciate it. And he said he also wants to uh, get hopeful chance of being mentioned. Well, you've just been mentioned, Gaber Dude. Let's actually look at your channel and see what you have in store for us. Good music. All right, so you are playing Hawken, which is like Titanfall. And let's see, skip ahead, skip ahead, By clicking skip ahead. the oh, you start one. talking hey, hey, at... Hello, guys, and welcome Hello. to Hawken. Hawken is basically a ripoff of Titanfall. Oh, it's a ripoff, is it? Well, do you agree Hawken is a ripoff of Titanfall? Tell us in the comments below. But, gamer dudes, why don't you welcome me to your channel? 
This is your introduction video. This is your one chance of impressing the people that visit your channel to subscribe to your channel. Don't talk about Hawken, talk about you. Talk about what's special about your channel. Get people excited to see the best of your videos, the worst of your videos, the reason they should subscribe to your channel. So just like yesterday, sadly, I cannot click the subscribe button because you did not convince me that I should subscribe to your channel with your introductory video. Change it! Make it something that people will listen to and decide whether they want to subscribe to your channel or not. That's my biggest tip. Now let's take a look at your videos section to see how often you upload. And I'll hide myself so you can see everything. Uh-oh, do you see the problem? You only upload once every few months. How do you expect to build an engaged subscriber base if you don't upload at least once a week? My suggestion to you is upload one video every Saturday because the weekends are where you're going to get the most views when people are home from school and work. I would encourage you to try to create three videos a week. This goes for everybody, not just gamer dudes at least three videos a week so that your subscribers always have something fresh to look forward to. Ideally, make a video a day like we do here on The George Show. But that takes a lot of time and commitment and I don't expect everyone to be able to make a video a day. So just make three videos a week or at least one video a week. Do you have any other tips for gamer dudes or other people in the Freedom family to grow faster? Tell us in the comments below because that is the spirit of freedom. We help each other grow together as a family. And this is a beautiful Freedom family and I will continue promoting deserving channels and comments as I've been doing in the last couple episodes. There is one more comment I would like to mention, and that was by Thang D, Thang MD, who was asking, does freedom pay every cent? Now, I've already featured this comment, but I would like to follow up by saying, we pay every penny that you earn without deducting any fees, like PayPal fees, like other networks do. So if, for example, you are on a 60-40 revenue share, then you get the 60% that you're supposed to get. You don't get 60% minus the PayPal fees, which is what a lot of other networks do. They have these hidden fees that they don't really tell you about until it comes time to get your payment. And you're wondering, hey, the dashboard said I was owed $10. Why did I get $9.25 in other networks? That may be your experience. In Freedom, if your dashboard says you're going to get $10. Guess what? You get $10 in your account. That was the point of this comment, and I hope this helps uh, fix any misunderstandings that some of you had. And now let's have a look at All Games Must Die. Does he have over 400 subscribers? Like I guessed. Here is his channel, and I will hide myself. 347 subscribers, still. That's a lot more than the 36 you started with when we first gave you a shout out. Well done, all games must die. And if you want to check out his channel, just go to youtube.com slash, you guessed it, all games must die. That's his YouTube URL. So who am I? I am Sun Pie George, or is it George Sun Pie? Let's check with that comment. He was right. Here, George Sunpai. <laughs> I am George Sunpai, CEO and founder of this beautiful family called Freedom. And you've been watching. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom family. You are part of it. We are all part of it. And we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That play now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.